Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about journaling. So everything you would wanna know about journaling for self-discovery. I'm gonna go through everything that's helped me in terms of journaling over the past few years, how I've incorporated it into my routine, a couple of prompts that I really like, um, if you're new to journaling, some places that you can start, and a couple of tips on how you can get the most out of journaling as well. If you like these kind of videos, then please do subscribe. There's a new video up at eight o'clock every Sunday. So. I thought I'd start off with some of the benefits of journaling and how I've actually managed to change my life through it. So a really big benefit is that it promotes being mindful. So obviously if you're spending time, um, whatever time of the day to actually sit, reflect on how you're thinking and feeling, you're being in the present moment rather than kind of living, thinking about the past or the future, which a lot of us tend to do. And just by having that time to sit and be present can be really de-stressing and just kind of put things into perspective a little bit really so that's definitely one of the really big benefits of it another thing that I found for me is that it really heightens my sense of self-awareness and I feel like I know myself a lot better so if you're journaling and you're kind of noticing the same things cropping up you seem to learn a lot more about yourself and it can just be a really good way to kind of put things in place that you know are going to be good for you and work for you as well in the future. In general for me it promotes positive well-being and it gives me a chance to kind of reflect on my thoughts, think about goals that I want to achieve and also be self-disciplined enough to actually put things in place to make sure that I achieve them. Um, I think journaling especially for self-awareness you start to notice patterns in how you behave and once you notice those patterns and maybe things that you want to change, it's a lot easier to actually go ahead and change them. When you're kind of constantly doing an act of self-improvement every single day, you get the chance to look at them, reflect on it and see how you're kind of going with it. Um, I found it really powerful for that as well. So one of the major things with journaling that you kind of have to get into is being completely honest with yourself. There's no point in journaling if you're holding back. I'd recommend not worrying about how the page looks not thinking about handwriting, the colour of your pen, you know, get all of these things that you would have thought about previously out of your head, you know, this doesn't have to be a perfect practice, it's just sitting down, writing down the thoughts in your head and being completely honest and open about that. Um, I kind of struggled with this at first, I think we're all kind of used to doing things sometimes in a way that aren't quite true to ourselves. We get a lot of exposure to outside things and it can be hard to know what you actually want to do versus what you think you should be doing. Um, and some of the ways that I found really help my journaling practice, if I'm kind of feeling like that, is to do a bit of a meditation beforehand. So this can just be five minutes where you sit in silence or you could do a guided meditation as well. Um, I quite like doing the guided ones just to kind of relax. Um, and also doing it in a silent room or just with some kind of relaxing music in your headphones if you can't be in a silent room just because it kind of gets you in that mind frame to be in the present moment and also kind of think about your unconscious thoughts and what you really truly are thinking i think as well if you're quite a busy person you've not ever really practiced mindfulness or that kind of thing of really bit sitting and being in the present you start to notice actually how many thoughts come into your head and how busy you are and, and how kind of on overdrive your brain is. So to have that time to just relax before you start journaling it can be really powerful in terms of what actually comes out. Another thing as well is really try and be true to yourself. And I found to begin with, I was holding certain things back and I didn't want to write them down and I didn't want to acknowledge them and face them. But you're going to get so much more out of journaling, especially for self-discovery and self-awareness, if you are really honest with yourself. You know, no one is meant to be reading your journal or no one's going to see this. So you have nothing to lose by being completely honest and raw and seeing what's in front of you on the page, um, which can be quite difficult to get used to. And obviously we're not used to doing that. So yeah it's it's definitely a learning curve but there's no point well basically you're going to get the most out of it if you're very honest and true to yourself so i'm going to speak a little bit about the different ways that you can actually journal and some of the techniques that you can use but the one thing i'd say throughout all of this is do what feels right for you i think you know there's so many like this video i'm obviously going to be sharing how i do it but i've just kind of stumbled on a method that works for me um, over using over the years of using other people's methods and how they do it. Um, so one of the ways that you can start off is by using journal prompts, which is one of my favourite things to do still. Um, you can get books that have all of these different journal prompts in. I'll leave everything linked in the description box below, like all of my favourites and a couple of books that I recommend potentially starting off with to journal. But I definitely recommend having a dedicated um, notebook or a place where you go to journal. So it's kind of that one thing that 
that you see which reminds you to do it also maybe starting at the same time of the day can be really good whether you want to journal in the morning or the evening kind of find which one works for you and then using the same journal prompts as well is really useful and it's a good place to start so some of my favorite journal prompts for self-discovery are basically reflecting on the day and looking at what's worked for me what hasn't worked for me and um, also kind of looking at what's bringing me joy right now and things that i want to change that's a really good place to start because you can start to kind of unpick things and get everything noted down on paper that you really realize you want to make a difference with i'm going to leave a blog post link below with loads of different journal prompts for self-discovery but a couple of them might be looking at things that feel positive in your life right now things that you're really grateful for and when you kind of think about those things is there a connection between them you know is it that you're really grateful for all your family friends and then you realize you know what well, actually i want to spend more time and dedicate more of my free time to being with them um, are you really grateful for the work that you're doing right now in a particular area of your work and you kind of realise oh that's a part of my job that I really love and you can focus on that and really build on it. You might also want to start off with some really general ones as well so a really good one is what does your dream life look like or what does your dream day look like and everyone's dream day is going to be completely different but it really does say a lot about who you are and the kind of things that you like doing and sometimes just even taking that moment to look at what the dream day looks like you realize actually oh my god i'm already doing quite a few of these things and you can incorporate more of those things into your day-to-day -day life and um, so that's a really good one to start off with another thing you can do if you don't want to do kind of journal prompts but you do want to kind of start looking at goals and journaling is just having a completely blank a4 piece of paper write in a word that kind of summarizes how you're feeling and how you want to feel in the future in the middle so for me i chose 2020 my word was transformation because i wanted to change a lot of things in my life and it just kind of felt right for me so i stuck with transformation and around the word and on this piece of paper i wrote all the different things that i wanted to achieve and i was quite clear and i was quite specific about those things i think kind of the act of writing these things down looking at them really being aware of them and knowing that you want to want to achieve them is really powerful compared to just having them in your head so i definitely recommend doing things like that as well alongside your journaling or even if you just wanted to do that it's a really good thing to do to kind of keep on top of your goals and kind of know that they're there and you're ready to get them done another prompt might be what actions can you take to simplify your life so you might see things crop up, crop up here where you can um make you know yourself more organized another one might be what's hindering me from being productive you know a lot of the time when we're unproductive and we're distracted from things there's a root cause to it so maybe have a look at why you're being distracted you know is it that you don't want to you're fearful of applying yourself to a particular area of your life or you know is there something you can put in place that you're really being distracted by is it social media that you're turning to when you're feeling like you can't get something done kind of have a look a little bit at that and you'll see the same things cropping up so you can use prompts you can just use a single a4 piece of paper and kind of do a bit of a spider diagram or you can actually write a letter to someone which can be really useful um especially if you're kind of you feel like there's a bit of a relationship that's lost maybe or you want to tell someone maybe how much you appreciate them or you want to close a door like a chapter in your life you can write a letter to that person and kind of get all the emotions out and all the things that you'd want to say to them fold it up and then put it in the bin or you can burn it or do whatever with it it does feel really stress relieving to do that um, and i know quite a lot of people get a lot of benefits from doing that as well so that's another way that you can effectively journal and get things out there's another technique which is the three page journal so you'd have a lined a4 booklet and every single morning you would write three pages and it's just all of your thoughts on that page three pages for me is quite a lot i don't tend to really do this that much um for me my limit is kind of a page and that works well for me but some people can go for three pages and it works really well to just kind of have that brain dump on the page another one that's one of my favorites is doing a gratitude list and just really noticing the things that you're grateful for in life so that's one that i do every single day i've started doing it in the morning or the evening i kind of mix it up um and i'll write 10 things that i'm grateful for um from that day and i also write how they make me feel as well so an example of this might be um I'm grateful for the nice weather because it makes me feel relaxed and happy like that's just a really general one but really try and think and feel these emotions of the things that are making you feel grateful and it can feel it's just really nice um, and I think kind of by doing it in the morning or the evening 
you are setting yourself up for a really good start to the day and um, because obviously you're waking up feeling good from all those positive thoughts from the night before so it's definitely a really good one and um, if you just kind of look into have more gratitude in your life and be more grateful for the things that you already have so just an overview of some of the tips that i've been through before i actually show you my journals one of them is be completely true to yourself and if you're struggling to get there maybe try like meditation or just sitting in silence and kind of making a little space in your home to dedicate time to journaling the second one is to go with what works for you so if it is kind of thinking of three things that you're grateful for and writing them down if it's using prompts if it's going for just doing the brain dump and writing loads then find a thing that works for you and just kind of run with that and then the last tip is to try and end your journaling with something positive so let's say you've done quite a lot of self-discovery and focused on things that you really want to change and things that you're not quite happy about in your life right now try and end it with either how you're going to change them so the steps you're going to put in place to try and improve that or just think about a couple of things you're grateful for and the reason to do this is because what we think we feel and then that's how we act so if you are writing quite negatively in your journals and you feel like you're really drawn to doing that that's fine because I think you know we all really need to feel the emotions and accept the emotions that we feel but if you can end it on something positive and with a kind of change of action, you're gonna get so much more out of journaling in a positive way. So these books here are what I typically use for journaling and some that I've used in the past as well. So I'm just gonna quickly run through them and hopefully it'll give you a little bit of inspiration for journals that you can use and how you can do it as well. So if you wanna start off with something basic, this is just my 2020 diary, which I haven't actually got that much use out of this year. I did it at the beginning of the year, but obviously a lot of us haven't been doing that much. Um, but what you can do when things do start to pick up and you actually have to put things in your diary. Um, so this is a, just obviously a blank page and there's a note section. And I think in most diaries there is a note section, but in here you could write down one small goal for the week, um, make it achievable. That's what another thing, don't kind of throw yourself into anything that's really unachievable start small and kind of work up um so this is a really good place to start actually because you could just write down one small goal that you want to achieve three things you're grateful for and maybe something you want to work on in the week and that is a form of journaling in itself and it's really nice because obviously if you're looking at your diary a lot you're going to continually see this and continually remind yourself of things that you want to do that are positive another thing that you can use is books that have prompts and almost guide you through journaling I absolutely love this book. I haven't spoken about it enough. This is by Jack Canfield and Dee Dee Watkins and it's the key to living the life in the law of attraction. My last video that I uploaded was actually a law of attraction 101 so everything to do with that and I'll leave that linked below if you wanted to learn more about the law of attraction but essentially what this book does is takes you through basically how you can implement it into your life and it looks a lot about goals about the dreams that you have and your aspirations and things like that um, and it's just a really good place to start so I'm just going to try and find a couple of prompts in here so one of these sections in here is about defining your purpose and it asks you to list all of the times in your life that you remember that you felt really joyful so it's really like digging deep if you're looking for one book that's really well-rounded in terms of helping you understand the law of attraction um but also journaling as well this is a really good one next up is a journal that i actually just bought from wilco it was two pound fifty and i just saw it and i thought um it'd be a really good way to get me into journaling every day this was i think it was last year that i bought this and i was journaling but i wasn't doing it consistently and this definitely did make me um start journaling every day i'll try and find a blank page so what this has in here is a day's reflection so i would do this every evening and i would look at what worked for me what didn't work so well a moment's reflection where i'd kind of put anything positive and just think about things i'm grateful for and then what i want to try and improve on tomorrow and with this kind of thing i just noticed that the same things were cropping up over and over again um and i was able to put things in place to actually change it as I said, I'll leave links to everything that I've mentioned in the description box and I'll also try and find a couple of other alternatives and journals as well if I can. And then the last two are just two of my favourite notebooks and um, yeah, I just really like them. So this is just a lined book and I've been using this as my gratitude journal. So in here, every day I write 10 things I'm grateful for and I just find that the lined page is like the perfect amount to do that. I'm nearly finished this one actually, but this is a book that I got given um, when I was leaving my last job and I just really like it. it's got my initials at the bottom it's just a really sentimental nice notebook so um I definitely recommend actually getting yourself a really nice notebook that you want to write in rather than just like a a4 pad it's quite nice to just have something where you 
really feel like you can just kind of see it and think about your journaling and um, all the positive things that you're doing. And then the last one is this one from Papier. And when that book runs out, I'm going to be moving on to this. I think that these make such gorgeous gifts. Or if you kind of wanted to obviously get yourself a journal, these are so, so nice because you can customise them. So I actually put on the front of mine, always be grateful, but you could maybe put a word that really resonates with you that is kind of reflective of what you want your year to be. So maybe at the beginning of year, when I was thinking about this, I could have put transformation in there and that would have just reminded me of kind of what my purpose is, what my goals are and what I want to achieve. The design is just gorgeous. Um, if you are interested actually in Papier journals, I've got a I think it's a £10 off code, so I'll leave that in the description box. And this is £20, so you'd end up getting this for a tenner, which is pretty good. So that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it useful if you are kind of getting started with journaling or wanted to know a little bit more. As I said, I've got a blog post link below, which is actually kind of this video, but maybe in a little bit more detail as well. And I've got a couple of um, PDF downloads with some journal prompts in there, which will hopefully be helpful. And it's all kind of centered on self-discovery and kind of understanding yourself a little bit more and achieving your goals basically. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.